Tim går där för att Hi. How are we doing? Good. Yeah, good. Um, I shaved off from my moustache today. What do you guys reckon? It's good? It's hot. It's hot. Awesome. It's hot. What do you think it looks like? What do I look like? Team Wolf. Team Wolf. Nice. Like Team Wolf. Yeah, but Michael J. Fox is good. Anything else? Wolverine. Wolverine. Yeah. Yeah, that's hot. Yeah, Hugh Jackman, eat your heart out. Lovely. Um, I've had Amish as well. <laughs> Amish. And a mate of mine, um, he said, he said uh, you, look, you look like that dude. Um, what's his name? Hitler? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, really? Um, this is the guy that, that started the, the Second World War and, and the Holocaust. And he's, no, 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 not that guy, the other guy, the other guy, the other guy. And I'm like, the other fascist? Uh, Stalin? Uh, uh, Mussolini? No, 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 you know the other guy. Um, what's his name? Lincoln. Lincoln. <laughs> uh, really? Because the, they seem quite different to me. Uh, and he's like, oh, don't be a dick, you knew who I mean. <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah, because one emancipated the slaves and the other killed six million Jews. <laughs> potato, potato, right? <laughs> Um, yeah, I, so I did. I, I, I cut off my moustache and, and, and um, the real reason that I did it was because, I mean, just being very honest here, uh, I just got really sick of, of the smell of cunt all day. <laughs> it's not true, it's just bravado, it's bravado. <laughs> I'm actually really terrible uh, when it comes to meeting women, as you can tell. Um, I've, in, in fact, in, in my entire life, I've only ever had zero girlfriends or, or one girlfriend. Um, and, and I used to get really upset about that until I realised that, that in binary, that's all of them. <laughs> yeah, computer programming joke, right? Yeah, Ooh, yeah, that'll get him laid, surely. Um, I know there's a couple of Catholics at the back. How many people in the audience are, are Christians? Anyone in the audience Christian? Yeah. That's good, yeah, awesome. Because about 35% of all New Zealanders are Christians. It's just over a, a third of all Christians, um, all over, all thirty uh, percent, just over a third of all New Zealanders are <laughs> a Christian. Um, but the most, the most rabid Christian nation on the entire planet is the U.S., and seventy-five percent of all of those uh, people that live in the U.S. happen to be Christians. So, just hands up, anyone who's Christians again. It's good, because I'm just going to make a little bit of fun of you. That'd be fun. It's good. You too? Anyone else? No, good. Um, so 75% of all Americans are Christians. 90% uh, of all Am American Christians believe that Jesus Christ will come back in their lifetime. It's a true fact. 80% of all of those... 90% believe in the rapture. Do either of you Christians have any idea what the rapture is? You know what the rapture is? The rapture. Anyone? Anyone in the audience know what the rapture is? So the rapture happens at the end of the world, and what happens when Jesus comes back um, with the four horsemen of the apocalypse, um, that is pestilence and, and famine, 
and plague and war. War. And the other one, Justin Bieber. Well, I don't know about you, but every time I hear baby, 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 I want to kill myself. Death. That's um um and, and they believe that when when the former horsemen of the apocalypse come back and Jesus comes back, they will actually be lifted bodily up to heaven. That's a nice idea, isn't it? Lifted bodily up to heaven. Um, actually, their bodies will be lifted up to heaven, which I wonder what they're thinking. Because we know what's up there, right? It's clouds and the stratosphere and then hundreds of billions of light years of fuck all. <laughs> so they get there and I imagine a whole pile of pious Christians go what the fuck are we going to do now? <laughs> So that's the rapture. Um, <laughs> there's a website called raptureletters.com. Has anyone heard of that? Rapture Letters. Um, the idea of that is that you can leave an email letter to your friends and family that are left behind. I guess to say fuck you. <laughs> um, but I wonder, in that office, because, you know, it's a, it's a thing, it's a work environment, I wonder uh, who actually gets to send the rapture letters. I think that probably they have to employ one sinner. <laughs> That's a really shitty work environment, isn't it, eh? I mean, just standing around the water cooler, and they go, oh, it's the sinner, yeah, fucking him, right? <laughs> Because, I mean, the rest all get raptured up to heaven and he sits there as the sinner gets to push send. Or maybe they employ someone who's just really quick, really quick on the button. And when people get raptured up to heaven, they're like, yeah, I'll just send the emails, send the emails. And we get just send, we get just get lifted up to heaven and, 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 wait, 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 just wait, Lord, just wait, just wait. I've just got to send all these letters to the sinners just to say they can suck my balls. Just wait, 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 Lord. Hey, we'll, we'll, well, I'll just take off my shoe and I'll just throw it out and rapture letters away. <laughs> so that's the rapture. <laughs> yeah. um, so I think that's an odd idea. Has anyone out there heard of the idea of transubstantiation? Does anyone know what that is? You do? Yeah. Yeah, so would you like to enlighten us? Sure. Um, sure. So, yeah, when the body of Jesus Christ becomes like you eat it and shit. So, the body of Jesus Christ, you eat it and Christ. shit. <laughs> you can eat the shit in this way. You can, you can eat the shit of Jesus Christ? <laughs> You've got it. It's not the integral part. Hey, it's the shit. Okay, so the idea of transubstantiation is when you go into church, and you eat bread and you drink the wine, that as you do that, that becomes the body and the blood of our Saviour, Lord Jesus Christ. Nice idea, isn't it? Nice idea. I just wonder, though, how Jesus got that across in the first place. Do you imagine he was talking to his disciples and he said, take this bread, this is my body that is given unto you. Um, take this and, and remember me. And I think maybe one, one disciple went, maybe Judas, <laughs> possibly, he said, hold on there a second, Jesus. <laughs> so what you're saying is, <clears throat> When I eat, when I eat this bread, it becomes a bit of you. Yes, yes, Judas, that's correct. I'm just, I'm just wondering, Lord, but I mean, I love you and all, but I'm just wondering what bit. 
because I know you're almighty, but there are just a little bit of you that I wouldn't want in my mouth, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and and this wine, Lord, yes, Judas, yes. So when I drink the wine, it becomes your blood. <laughs> yes, Judas, something like that. Like some sort of true blood shit or something. Well, if you want to put it that way, Judas. So when I drink that, it actually becomes your blood coursing through my veins. Yes. Yes, Judas. That, that's correct. And you're okay with that? Yeah, Judas. I am. Jesus, you weird, dude. <laughs> and that's transubstantiation. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.